Hi everyone and welcome along to day two of the advent calendar. Let's see what's behind the door. Oh amazing, Christmas lights. Grab your paints and let's get started. Okay so we're going to begin with our pencil and I'm just going to do a, a little wiggle and if you want you're very welcome to add in pencil lines for your little lights but um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go straight in I think so I'm gonna get some nice bright colors with cadmium yellow get the red as well I like to get everything out in the palette ready to go before I start painting because I just find it's way easier in the long run. I'm going to go for my cobalt blue. And we'll have the green as well. So those are going to be my coloured lights. What are you going to go for? And I'm going to use my small brush. I've already m muddied my water. So I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm going to start nice and easy and I'm going to paint a, an outline of the yellow there. Clean off my brush and then just draw the color inwards a little bit but very much leaving a little bit of shine. And the next one. If I sort of angle my brush quite low to the page, I can create a nice sort of slightly thicker line there just by angling it down. I remember my parents had a set of lights like this when we were little. I was a, a child of the 80s and 90s, so these are, uh, yeah, these types of lights, I, I remember them well. Um, and I think I'm going to sort of, I think I'm going to switch around now, switch my lights over, just so there's room on the string. Um, yeah, and I remember thinking they were a bit sort of not that exciting. Um, but now, now I'm older, I'm desperate to get myself some, some more of these lights because they're wonderfully vintage. It's hilarious how things come back around. So you see how that little bit of unpainted space, then you give it a bit of a wash over really sort of creates this this glassy light effect. So I'm going into my water each time, it's cleaning off the brush and bringing some water back out to be able to give it that colour. I think we can squeeze the blue one in here. And I'm actually going to get a little bit more blue on the brush just to darken it a little bit and then clean the brush off. finish with the red one. Maybe we can squeeze a squeeze another yellow one on there. So everyone's got two. Okay I'm just gonna let that dry and then we can add the cable. So those are basically dry now so I'm gonna get my panes grey. 
and we're going to add in the cable and the little sort of cap on each bulb. Just a simple little sort of blobby kind of rectangle. This would be quite a fun Christmas card. You could maybe spell something out with them. And I'm going to use my four tenths brush for the actual cable itself. Make sure it's got a really nice sort of small amount. And at this point, if you don't need to follow the pencil line, you can be a bit more creative if you want. I'm going to just add in a little loop on the end and just send my brush around I mean there's so much paint on there already with the little rectangles that you could probably just push that about if you wanted. And there you go, you let that dry, rub out the pencil and you've got yourself some gorgeous coloured lights. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you tomorrow.